It's the most famous steam engine of them all. For years, Flying Scotsman raced between London and Edinburgh, pulling the most prestigious service of its time. It attracted the sort of adoration that today is reserved for footballers and pop stars. In 2004, it was saved for the nation. But to get it steaming again, it's needed a complete rebuild, which has taken five years. And last night at the National Railway Museum, the people who bankrolled the project got the first look. Absolutely wonderful. I didn't think this day would come, but it's great. I mean, the work that's obviously gone into it and that we can do things like this and bring these things back, you know. Even past owners were present. Sir William McAlpine kept the Flying Scotsman for 23 years. She's in the right hands. She will run again, and we must all see to that. And, and um, she's been done up to the highest possible standard. Really, a rebuilt, totally rebuilt new locomotive, and that's wonderful. And here on the footplate, there's still quite a bit of work to be done before this engine is steaming again. But this locomotive used to run non-stop between London and Edinburgh. And to make sure the crews could swap over without stopping, a fresh driver and fireman used to be able to come through this little door from the carriages of the train to relieve the crew that had been on here for the first part of the journey. The engine, which was rescued from the scrap heap, will follow a 2,200-mile route showing the people of the United States carriage loads of British goods. Such was the reverence this locomotive was held in. It was even sent round the world to America and Australia to promote British business. It hauled luxury Pullman coaches and another carriage converted into an English pub. But now it will once again be running on our rails. Painted in its wartime colour of black for the first time since the 1940s, it will now be fully tested before pulling passenger services in the summer. It may not reach the speeds it used to, but wherever this train goes, people will once again flock to see it. Who said the age of steam was dead? Danny Savage, BBC News, York.